lesson on conservation of momentum. What is momentum? Momentum is inertia in motion. That is, anything that has mass and is moving has momentum. Just like this train. No, not that train. This train, going down the tracks, has momentum. It has momentum because it has mass and has velocity and is moving. Thus, we could calculate the momentum based on the mass and the velocity of the train, such that the momentum, represented by the letter P, is mass times velocity, where the units of momentum are kilograms meters per second because we're multiplying mass, which is measured in kilograms, times velocity, which is measured in meters per second. Momentum, just like energy, is conserved, meaning that the initial momentum of a system will always equal the final momentum of a system at any point. We can't lose momentum. This is easily seen in collisions. There are two types of collisions, elastic and inelastic. In an elastic collision, both momentum and energy are conserved. Typically, objects in an elastic collision bounce apart. That is, if we look at these two bumper cars here, as they're coming towards each other, they hit and bounce apart. This would be an elastic collision. The second type of collision is an inelastic collision. This is where momentum is conserved, but energy is lost, typically due to heat or structural damage and sound. This is a collision in which objects typically stick together. So if we had these two cars coming at each other and colliding, they would hit and stick together. You'd hear the collision, there'd be energy loss to sound and heat and structural damage of the vehicles. Elastic collisions. Let's look at these two bumper cars here. This bumper car on the left will be traveling to the, to the right at 5 meters per second, where it hits this bumper car, which is at rest. Well, after they collide, this car will then become at rest. So what's the velocity of this cart after they collide? Let's conserve momentum and see. We know the momentum before they collide has to equal the momentum after they collide. And let's look at the momentum of each cart before the collision. So the momentum before they collide will be the momentum of the yellow cart plus the momentum of the red cart. That momentum will equal the momentum after, which is the momentum of the yellow cart plus the momentum of the red cart and to designate afterwards, I use these little prime symbols. So let's calculate the momentum of each cart before they collide. Let's assume the mass of each cart is 200 kilograms. So to calculate the momentum of the yellow cart, it would just be its mass times its velocity of the yellows plus the momentum of the red cart. But we know that red cart's at rest, so it's not going to have any momentum. So let's calculate the momentum before then. So the mass of the yellow cart is 200 kilograms and it's traveling at 5 meters per second. That gives us a total initial momentum of 1,000 kilogram meters per second. Well, afterwards, momentum also has to be 1,000. So we know the momentum of the yellow cart afterwards is going to be zero because it comes to a stop. So we can put in zero for this momentum. The momentum of the red cart is going to be its mass, mass of red, times its velocity, velocity of red. Well, the mass of the red cart we know is 200 kilograms, and we're looking for what its velocity is after. So that means 1,000 kilogram meters per second has to equal 200 times V. So let's do the math and figure that out. So we can see if we divide both sides by 200, we'll get the velocity of the red cart afterwards as 5 meters per second. Thus, to conserve momentum, the second car has to move off at the same velocity as the first car did in an elastic collision. Let's take a look at momentum conservation in an inelastic collision. That is, here we have these two cars, one's at rest, the other will come in from the left and hit, and then they'll both move off together afterwards as one object. So let's take a look at this in terms of momentum. So let's say the mass of the truck is 2,000 kilograms and it's moving at 20 meters per second to the right. And also before the collision, this car has a mass of 1,200 kilograms but is at rest. So what's the initial momentum before they collide? The momentum before they collide will be the momentum of the SUV 
plus the momentum of the car. We know the car is at rest and thus its momentum will be zero. So the momentum of the SUV will be its mass times its velocity. If we calculate that out, that will be 2,000 kilograms for the mass of the SUV times the 20 meters per second it's traveling at. So the total initial momentum before they collide will be 40,000 kilogram meters per second. Now that also has to be the momentum after they collide. Now after they collide, they move as one object since they're stuck together and collide inelastically. So we will just have one momentum afterwards. That is their combined momentum of the SUV and car together. So that would be the mass of the SUV and car together times whatever their velocity is together. Well, if the mass of the SUV is 2,000 and the car is 1,200, that would give us a total mass now of 3,200 kilograms. So what's the velocity of those two as they move off together? So we have 40,000 kilogram meters per second, which will also be the momentum after, has to equal the 3,200 kilogram, much larger mass of cars, times their velocity. So if we divide both sides by 3,200, we'll get the velocity as 12.5 meters per second. In the collision carts activity, you'll explore the differences between elastic and inelastic collisions, and also determine if momentum is conserved in these collisions. That is, if the momentum before the carts collide is equal to the momentum after the carts collide. Let's look at two examples. Let's look at the carts on the left. Do you think that's an elastic collision or an inelastic collision? Let's take a look at the collision on the right. Again, do you think that collision is an inelastic collision or elastic collision? And is momentum conserved in both of those collisions? Thank you for watching and see you in class.